back with another video for you guys. Um, I'm very out of practice, so please forgive me um, if I sound a little bit down. I feel like I sound sick. Uh, I'm not sick. I just think with like the cold and stuff like that, um, I just kind of sound a little bit like it. I've been going through like a weird phase, man. Like uh, pregnancy has been interesting and trying to figure out how to work um, like my pregnancy into my regular topics and my content has been kind of interesting because um, I'm not really sure if everyone would be interested in that kind of stuff. Anyway, a lot of overthinking has happened, a lot of uh, video filming has happened, and then a lot of uh, this isn't good enough, I'm not going to post anything has also happened. All that to say, I'm very happy to be back. The last time we talked, uh, I basically let you guys know that I was pregnant. I was just finishing up the first trimester, so I've been silent through the entire second trimester. I am now 28 weeks. What does my phone say? I am 29 weeks, which is crazy. I am officially like three months out. So much has changed. If you guys are interested in a second trimester update, go to my blog. I'm going to link it in the description box. I've done like an update of like how things have been going, stuff like that. Anyway, let's get started. I wanted to kind of talk through some of my maternity favorites. And I've been, this is like the one video that I keep coming back to. So I figure if I'm going to jump back into this thing, let's do it with a video that I really want to make. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you guys some of the skincare stuff that I've been using and loving. I think like in the second trimester, I went through this spot where my my face was really, really dry and I was getting all like patchy and like it didn't feel oh my god <laughs> oh my gosh i'm so jumpy a moth just scared the living crap out of me um where was i <laughs> in the second trimester i went through kind of a a phase where my skin, especially on my face, was like really dry. I knew I needed something that was like super hydrating, but I didn't know what to get. You guys might have heard me talk about this hemp lip balm from the Body Shop. It is my holy grail lip balm. I always have dry lips, and this is like the one lip balm that takes care of it. I can put it on at night, wake up in the morning, and I have like lips that are not cracked and sore and dry and disgusting and because i loved that i knew that it was very hydrating i picked up most of the line um i think the only thing i didn't pick up was like a foot cream the hemp face protector is really wonderful it's my moisturizer day in day out even sometimes like night they don't have a night cream version of this which is fine because i'm probably too lazy to use a separate <laughs> product anyway but love 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 this stuff and i've I've just been using the body butter as like a body butter. So I didn't go out and purchase anything in particular for my belly to like prevent stretch marks or anything like that. Um, so much of that is hereditary versus like preventable. <laughs> so um, I just lather this on, it's very moisturizing. I will say if you are very big on like scents and your lotions needing to be scented, um, you may not enjoy the scent of this. It's um, a little bit medicinal. It it reminds me of like a eucalyptus-ish scent, but it's not as strong as eucalyptus. It's pretty mild. It doesn't linger um, either. So anyway, that's just something to keep in mind, but highly recommend that line. Even though it's not like in the most eco-friendly packaging in the world, your girl needed something she could afford and that was gonna get the job done and um, that was somewhere in between like a drugstore product and a high-end product. So um, I think that's a good happy medium. My next pregnancy favorite is something you guys have definitely heard me ramble on about, so I'm not gonna talk about it for too long. It is my Swell Bottle. That's right, it's in another video. I love this thing. The reason why this is one of my pregnancy favorites is because it, helps keep me hydrated and drinking water is something that I've really been um, I've always kind of struggled to do but it's something that I really have been trying to do more now that I'm pregnant in preparation for breastfeeding hopefully breastfeeding but anyway if you've been following along you know how much I love this thing 
it keeps my water really really cold i like the 17 ounce size because it means i don't have to refill it constantly but even better than just the water bottle is this app that i've been using to log my water intake and it's called waterlogged it looks like this maybe it'll focus it just lets me log the amount of water that i've had in any given day i can you can set a goal in it and i've set it for 68 ounces which is about four swell bottles <laughs> worth of water and it tells me like how many i have left to go so i've just set up a manual reminder for every four hours just to help remind me to drink water just to kind of help keep me accountable also I should just mention this is not like sponsored by this app they have no idea who i am the app is free i use the free version but you can upgrade to like some sort of paid version where you get access to like some more cool alarm features and it takes the ads away but honestly the ads don't bug me enough so i use that okay besides that the other thing that i want to talk to you guys about are i have three like clothing style items to talk to you guys about too these are like my go-to please buy this if you're pregnant and that is belly bands um this one this is a black one and then i have a nude nude-ish beige one i have these two from two different brands the black one is from motherhood maternity and this beige one is from the Isabel maternity like collab at Target from Ingrid and Isabel. Ingrid and Isabel is a really cute maternity line. Their prices are just a little bit out of my budget, but they have a collab with Target ranging from leggings to belly bands to um, just like regular maternity clothes. They're really worth checking out. The thing I love about these belly bands is they they've just been lifesavers these have come in handy not just in the beginning when i was still able to wear my own jeans and just like kind of unbutton them because then it covers up the fact that you have unbuttoned jeans on but they also work on jeans that you don't zip i'm speaking from experience finding maternity jeans has been really hard for me part of my issue with maternity jeans is is that they sag down um and then they sag out and they just don't like make me I don't really make my butt look good or my legs look good and like if i'm gonna be pulling my pants up regardless i would rather just wear my non-maternity jeans with a belly band and call it a day and i feel a little bit more like myself than kind of suffering through like having jeans that are like slowly but surely dropping 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 you know what i mean so love the belly bands probably went on too long about those other thing that i've really been loving um, for my maternity stuff is this white t-shirt and what i love about this white t-shirt is that it is a maternity top but as you can see there is no ruching <laughs> to it it just looks like a regular t-shirt and i love that because i don't know again like clothing has been a weird spot for me when it comes to maternity stuff um it has just felt like a little bit too long and unflattering. It makes me feel a little bit foreign in my own body. Um, and so I have just kind of stuck to wearing my own clothes as much as possible, but definitely like t-shirts are something that um, are great for layering under sweaters. They're, when it was warm for that one week, I wore that t-shirt a lot too. Just a nice plain basic white tee that I will probably be able to use once I'm not pregnant anymore or in those first couple of months where you know like you still look like a little pregnant as everything is moving back into its place postpartum the top is from ASOS and it was pretty inexpensive so I plan on buying it in at least the black one and I'm hoping to get a striped version as well the last thing that I'll share with you guys is this jumpsuit, it's this really cute jersey jumpsuit, overall looking thing. It's got pockets, which is awesome, and it's made out of a really comfortable jersey material. Things I love about that. Number one, it's super comfortable. It feels like you're wearing pajamas. <laughs> um, but the uh, another thing that I really like is that the straps are adjustable, which is perfect for someone who is short. That I can make it hit where I want it to without having it look like super baggy i'm gonna insert a couple photos of me wearing this jumpsuit because i've definitely worn it a bunch and i've posted about it on instagram but it's 
seriously awesome. I It makes me want a million other in like a bunch of different colors. It was definitely one of those items that I wasn't sure if I was gonna like in the first place. I love my denim overalls, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna like something knit because it is a pretty thin material and it's jersey and so I didn't I didn't really know if I was gonna like it or not. Like such a good unexpected surprise of how much I loved them. And yeah, those have been my favorite things. It's definitely the stuff that I have found most helpful and I've definitely been wearing and using the most throughout this pregnancy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Since I'm like getting my feet wet again in doing YouTube, I would really, really love it if you left me a comment with a video request that you might have. It doesn't have to be baby related, but if it is baby related, I'm so down. Anyway, just let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's everything I've got for you guys today. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!